This is just an addition to a rant. Hundred million seven hundred seventy-seven. This is part two to that. But I just want to say that we should have every area of our lives surrendered to God, or at least as much as we possibly can, and pray the serenity prayer for those uh, things that we uh, may not be able to conquer, at least at the present time. Now, God did design, uh, he does have order in everything, and that there's a Father in heaven, which is ultimately in charge of the Son, and the Son, of course, is in charge of the bride, uh, the body of Christ. It, it, it goes down all the way. It, uh, you know, and your Catholic uh, beliefs, they have the Pope, and they go down the cardinals or something. They have an order of things. And we can do stuff even in the family unit that, that, that in fact, uh, 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 it says in the Bible that a husband should uh, uh, be in charge like Christ is to the church, that the husband should be that to the bride, the wife. That um, Now, what's the thing about it? Women can sit there and say, oh, that's unfair. That's unfair. My Ultimately, my husband is in charge. But see, what women don't understand is that in fact, he's held to a higher account than you. He, being the spiritual leader of the house, he's held to a higher account. So in a way, it's a blessing uh, to be a wife in a sense that your man, your husband, should be surrendered to Christ Jesus in all areas of his life. And in fact, different areas of his life that he allows Satan to come into his household and to attack his wife and his children. Well, that door that he opened up, is he not the one responsible for that coming into his household? Think about it.